Hey Gemini, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading. We're taking a look at what's coming in for you guys um, over the next several weeks, right? So I would say the end of November. We're going to take a look at what could be coming in for you in love, romance, and partnership. If you enjoy these readings, do let me know. All you have to do is like, share this video, subscribe. I appreciate your love and support of my channel. All right, so today I'm going to start off with the Epiphany deck. You guys know I do make um, and design my own decks. It is available on Etsy. This particular deck is called the Epiphany. All right, so let's get some messages out here for you guys, Gemini. If, again, you enjoy these readings, let me know. Um, if you want a personal love tower reading, you certainly could request one. I do offer them video recorded as well as through Etsy message. And this is for my Gemini folks out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You could be a Gemini or your person that you're dealing with could be a Gemini. All right, so Gemini, first up, we have devotion. Is someone uh, still devoted to you? Maybe they're just not showing it. That could be one of the challenges here. But it does says helplessly devoted to you. So someone is definitely um, still connected to you. I feel like maybe there's some kind of test of commitment. And then we have time is up. So someone has maybe not had the opportunity to show you how devoted they are to you, to the connection, relationship, the marriage, the family. Um, and it feels like someone is taking forever. Someone is taking too long to make that first move, to reach out, to let you know how much they care. So you could be dealing with that in a relationship right now. And it feels like that is the biggest challenge. You know, time is up. Some of you, Gemini, you're not giving someone a time of day. Right now, you're at a point of saying, you know what? You know, you just, you snooze, you lose, right? <laughs> So I'm seeing a time being a very big factor in this connection. Maybe you've been with this person for an extended period of time and you're kind of done, okay? So let's get some more messages. Um, the recent past energy, give me some insight into Gemini and their recent past person, whoever they're thinking about dealing with. This could be someone that they're, you know, perhaps wanting to move forward with. The lovers, I'm not surprised. The lovers came out with the devotion card, right? So this is a soulmate connection. There's someone here that you're very connected to. And I feel like there was a decision that was made in the past and someone wasn't ready to move forward together in a union. So for some of you who've experienced some kind of breakup, um, separation, division, right? Because that lovers came out in reverse. And it feels like, Gemini, some of you guys, you are the one to make that decision because the lover's card is the Gemini energy. Some of you, you had to make a decision and it's regarding a commitment, a marriage, an institution, right? Something you built with this person. The Hierophant can be a Taurus. But it feels like the energy of like, I, I care for you, I was committed to you, but because of something I may have found out, Page of Swords. So Gemini, is there something that came to your attention? Page of Swords, could be, was there someone that brought some kind of information to you? And with that information, you made a decision to break away from this partnership. Page of Swords could be a rumor though. So for some of you, maybe it wasn't the entire truth, right? Maybe you heard something through the grapevine, right? Maybe you heard something from someone and they didn't have all the facts and information, Page of Swords, right? But it does feel like there's some kind of information that came to your attention. It, you know, this could be you finding it. Page of Swords could be like definitely the energy of um, going looking for information, finding it online, social media or something. And maybe it wasn't what you wanted to hear or see. You know, it could be something like that. The current energy, Gemini, we have the Eight of Swords. Some of you guys are feeling really stuck, tied, bound. Magician, you want some kind of change. And there's a lot of thinking about the past. And I feel like this is a very strong mutual energy. But I do feel that Magician, Gemini, that's you, right? So the Eight of Swords and the Magician is telling me a lot of you guys are feeling stuck in a situation you don't want to be in. And, you know, you're tied. You're bound. You feel like your hands are tied behind your back. You're blindfolded. You don't see straight. You don't see all the facts. Um, and there's a situation here, Eight of Swords, where you're going around and around in your head regarding a situation here. Eight of Swords. And you feel like you can't get out of it. 
And again, Five of Cups is telling me it's about a past situation. Someone you cared about with this Five of Cups energy you really loved. There's feelings, there's emotions. It even feels like someone has some kind of regret about something that may have happened the way it happened, right? So I feel like there's the energy of a lot of deep emotions right now, feeling stuck, you know, mentally torn. Gemini, that's you, mentally torn and in conflict. Um, and it's because you want to manifest some kind of change. Some of you, you want to experience some kind of uh, connection with this person. And a magician is wanting to turn around a situation here that maybe, you know, you're in with this person, okay? So there's definitely, yeah, a lot of uh, heavy energy right now. Give me, let's see. What's your person? I got a card that flew out and it's just temperance. So some of you guys, Spirit is saying, take your time. Don't rush this, okay? Something could be happening for a higher reason. Maybe you're not sure why, but the magician, um, you know, with the temperance, these are major arcanas. Something here could be manifesting behind the scenes and you have no idea, right? And remember I said time was a factor? Yeah, temperance is time. So Gemini, your message here is telling me you're having to give a connection some more time. Don't rush it. Maybe someone is waiting for the right time. Okay, that's what I'm hearing, the right time. All right, give me more about Gemini's person. Page of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yeah, uh, okay, Ten of Swords, and then we have the Three of Pentacles. So yeah, the energy is actually telling me this is someone that wants to take action towards you because of Ace of Wands, movement, action, progression. Someone desires change. That's what the Ace of Wands is all about. A new beginning, a fiery, passionate new beginning. Now, this could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. But, um, but I do feel like someone really wants to come in with that apology. And it feels like there's a reason why they haven't been able to because of some kind of really difficult, devastating, traumatic ending, Ten of Swords, that you guys have went through right so the reason why maybe this person hasn't initiated some kind of change forward with you is because of something they may have done that may they may feel they're the reason why right it all ended so that ten of swords is kind of where things are right now um i even feel like your person is working on how to overcome this ending ten of swords with you how to overcome this really uh devastating you know betrayal maybe you know betrayal with that ten of swords uh, you both could be feeling that rock bottom energy with the Ten of Swords, but definitely your person. They're feeling like they've hit rock bottom. They're at an all-time loss, uh, ruin, right? Um, and they do want to apologize. Page of Cops is telling me someone really does care. They have these feelings for you that maybe they haven't been able to express, and they're trying to figure out how to do that. Now, how they see moving forward is that Three of Pentacles, so they definitely see themselves coming together with you, partnering up, getting on the same page, working out your differences, okay? And again, that temperance is like, give me some more time. Just give me a Sagittarius. The outcome is the king of pentacles in reverse. The king of wands, okay? And the ten of cups, okay. So there are other people that could be playing a big role in this connection. But I even feel like there's a message here. Gemini, it's saying that you're going to be experiencing that ten of cups, right? It's there. It's there. But it feels to me like the reason why maybe someone hasn't been able to take the action, King of Wands, toward it is because they're not feeling so secure and sufficient. They may feel like they don't have enough. King of Pentacles in the verse, they could be going through some kind of loss. They could be feeling like they're in this energy of lacking something, right? So I feel like for some of you guys, your person hasn't come forward and initiated that change that they really want to. Uh, with you and it's because of some kind of lack loss uh insufficient funds right you know something that they're going through right now and they feel like they don't have enough but it's telling me with the ten of cups there is an opportunity for happiness to be restored right so let's jump right in let's see what else we can find out i hope you guys enjoy this reading give me the devotion card hopelessly devoted to you time is up took too long give me that message here let's clarify that Again, if you want a personal love reading, you certainly can reach out. Uh, go to my website, go to Etsy, and book a reading with me there. Okay. King of Cups. So someone has love for you, but it feels like maybe there is something that they're um, torn between. You know, they're obviously devoted to you. Emotionally, they're connected. But the time is up. So it feels like there's something about your person being able to express how they really truly feel right, with that King of Cups energy. But it feels like I need more time. For some of you guys, your person's it's healing from some kind of love block or emotional hurt something they've gone through in the past that maybe have crippled them 
Um, in a recent past, give me that page of swords, the Hierophant, the lovers. What happened here? Four Pentacles, someone closed up, Nine of Swords, and the Moon. So, yeah, I think in the past, Gemini, we have something here where maybe you found out some kind of secret, something that may have been hidden. It came to the surface, and it made you retract. It made you pull back. For some of you, you may have closed off to this person. They may have closed off to you. Four Pentacles is a very guarded energy. So whatever information that was shared, finding out, you know, coming across, it feels like that was enough for you to say, you know what, that, I can't do that. And the reason why is because it brought a lot of anxiety, frustration, Nine of Swords. Some of you guys, you know, it's telling me that whatever you found out, Nine of Swords, it brought a lot of conflict. You know, this is you in your head. This is you trying to find out like, why? Why did you do that behind my back, the moon? You know, why didn't you tell me? It may have brought forth a lot of insecurities within you, but maybe it's also because of your person being insecure, right? Something may have happened or was hidden from you. So, you know, there's something going on like that and feels like ultimately there was a decision that was made to break away and break apart, right? Now, give, give me the Magician and the Eight of Swords, Five of Cups, Seven of Wands, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and the Empress. I love it, the beautiful Empress. So, yeah, I think what the energy right now is telling me someone really wants to fight for this. But again, that Seven of Wands is still some guards up. And the reason why there are guards up is because the Eight of Swords, there's some anxiety, there's fear, there's that energy of what if. Um, Eight of Swords is when you're going around and around your head with this negative thought and you can't seem to let it go. So Seven of Wands, yeah, you both could be protecting yourself right now, but there's love here, Five of Cups. You both are probably protecting your heart from being hurt again. Now with this beautiful Empress though, right? beauty right this is growth this is fertility this is new beginnings this is expansion this is wanting to like grow and nurture the connection especially for the divine feminine right there's an energy of like wanting to give to the divine feminine wanting to respect and nurture and be there for her so i feel like there's an energy of the magician wanting to manifest some kind of change with the divine feminine wanting to expand and invest in her for some of you guys you found that you were pregnant right if you had the energy here but the Knight of Pentacles in the verse is telling me that someone is trying to be practical about this on how they can manifest a change. It may not be that easy, especially because of someone experiencing some kind of loss or not having enough. Okay, that same energy keeps coming out. Knight of Pentacles in the verse, King of Pentacles in the verse, someone is feeling like they don't have what they need in order to support you, to invest in you, right? Money, tangible things. Ace of Wands and a Page of Cups. This person wants to apologize. Ace of Wands have this new beginning. But again, you guys have experienced a really Ten of Swords, a difficult ending here. Eight of Swords. So yeah, the person's in your in their head. Ace of Wands about a new beginning. King of Wands in a verse. And they're just not feeling themselves very confident. They're not feeling um, sure of themselves, right? There's some kind of anxiety about them being able to make it work and move it forward. I mean, the Eight of Swords is telling me that someone is just like, just as in conflict about this, about, about you, just as much as you are about them. So you're not alone, Gemini, is what I'm saying. Your person feels the same exact way. And the Page of Cups, I'm sorry, I care, I miss you, I'm thinking of you, I'm dreaming of you. And um, I want this new beginning, Ace of Wands, keeps coming out. So Three of Pentacles, they want to work together, work out your differences, partner up ace of pentacles in the verse and offer a new beginning but in order for a new beginning to come in and for it to be stable durable long lasting right that's what the pentacles talks about it feels like there is the energy of having to get on the same page for you having to know and, and understand what's going on coming together bridging that gap right that's what's necessary three of pentacles is bridging that gap um, so a new beginning is definitely feels like it's coming in but again i'm getting the temperance which means like timing is a big factor to a sword someone has to make a decision so a decision is going to be made but it feels like someone needs more time to make that decision head of a heart let go of something maybe there's a decision regarding two things two options two people two paths okay the outcome we have this beautiful queen of cups energy cancer pisces scorpio page of pentacles there could be a message or something coming in something tangible um it could be anything but it feels like whatever's coming in it's small right 
it's small steps but it's enough to kind of get things moving toward that star your dream your hope your wishes your desires with this connection with regard to this person and so the star is telling me have hope have faith don't give up on that gemini because there's an opportunity of the star and the ten of cups to have what you want something you've been dreaming about right something you've been manifesting, the magician, the star, something you've really been wanting and dreaming about regarding this person. Um, there's an opportunity to have that Ten of Cups. So there is something here coming in that's going to bring some kind of security, stability. It's small, but it feels like it's enough to, to get what you ultimately want and desire from this person, okay? So maybe you're going to see that, okay, well, you've shown me, right, by you just reaching out and, um, you know, maybe even responding to this previous text I sent, you're showing me that you care. You're showing me that there is hope, right? The star to have at Ten of Cups. So that is what I'm seeing, Gemini. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. You don't want to miss out. And I'll check you guys out soon. All right, take care.